Welcome to Prime's Fantasy Island, where we talk about fantasy football. And I answer all your fantasy football questions. Let's see, we got a Raider Nation for life, Michael Conti. All right. You the man, JR. Thank you for supporting Raider Reaction. This is Prime's Fantasy Island on Raider Reaction. Of course, if you do not follow. <laughs> uh, sorry, David, it takes time to put these productions together, but you the man, David, and thank you for being a top fan. Oh, uh, no, nah, but yeah, if you haven't already, please follow us on Instagram, not to mention oh, YouTube, uh, subscribe, go to the website, RaiderReaction.com, Stephen Phillips already, a big question at tight end, we got Graham or Cook, so I'm assuming you're talking about Jimmy Graham of the uh, Chicago Bears now, not to mention Cook, who is the saint, and... Thank you, Michael Conti, for loving Raider Reaction. Raider Reaction loves you. What up, Nancy? Thank you for your support. You the lady, Nancy. All right. Of course, I got my island drink. We're halfway through. I almost went on too early, but anyway. But so, hey, I'm going to tell you this. Nick Foles is now the starter. He's a full-time starter for the Chicago Bears. Therefore, I'm going to go Jimmy Graham. Nick Foles likes tight ends. He came from Philadelphia. Zach Ertz, all that kind of good stuff. Won a Super Bowl. Man. Or, yeah, he did. Crazy, I know, right? But now Nick Foles is the starter, so indeed, I would go with Jimmy Graham. I would go with Jimmy Graham. Um, in the meantime, there is some breaking news. And that is... Let's see, let me get it up so I get the exact timing of it. Just right. What's happening, JR? Cook is good too. You are correct. You are correct. But right now, I feel like I feel like uh, Breeze is not the most consistent guy right now. Until they get Michael Thomas back on the field, which he is supposed to be coming back this week, you know. And that's just it. With Michael Thomas coming back this week, he's going to get the ball like good and plenty. He's going to get the ball good and plenty for the Saints. All right. Breeze misses his number one target, and he's going to feed it to him. Now, when normally, as in like. Taking a look at last year, Cook was pretty good, but he was better when he had Michael Thomas on the field sort of spreading out that defense. When he gets double covered, everybody else gets single coverage. So, in this case, you know, Jimmy Graham has just now started to get back into a little bit of the form. He's become a red zone threat as well. He's getting more red zone targets than, than I think most tight ends right now. I think he has the most in all actuality. So, with that... I'm going to go Jimmy Graham, but if you can, if you can, go out on a on a limb and go two tight ends, man. Two tight ends, man. Put a, put a tight end in your flex. Go with Cook and Graham, depending on who you got a wide receiver and running back. You know what I mean? So, either way, I think uh, you're good for, I don't know, like 10, 15 points easy between either of them. Either of them. But I'm going to say Jimmy Graham on this. I think he's going to get a touchdown. So... In the meantime, I said I got some breaking news. The Titans and the Bills game is going to be played this week, even though the Titans are just riddled with uh, riddled with, with COVID, and they got more COVID on, in the Titans, man, than mm, I can't even make a bad joke about it. The Titans are going to play, though, with a bunch of whoever. I don't know who all got it for the Titans, but because I haven't seen that, but... Indeed, they are moving the game to Tuesday. So if you got Josh Allen or um, uh, the wide receivers for the Bills, or even a. Uh, oh, what up, Kenyon? Kenyon Stone. Hey, I got to come down to Kansas or come down to Missouri. We can meet in Kansas City or something like that. And uh, we got to party it up and check out a game, man. Anyway, maybe uh, this. Uh, what? We got Raiders at Kansas City here in a couple weeks, I think. So. Uh, well. JR thinks uh, Tampa will play. Well, Tampa's going to be without Godwin. Um, but Mike Evans is going to play, and so is uh, the running back there. So, um, yeah, uh, the the Bucks are going to be hitting on most cylinders. They are going to be without Godwin, and they did lose a uh, uh, tight end, uh, O.J. Howard, for the rest of the year. So, Maybe if you got, I don't know, Gronkowski or something like that, he's now a, he's now an option, a bigger option than he was before. So, 
Indeed, I am here to answer your fantasy football questions. I do want to reiterate that uh, the Titans and the Bills game is going to be played, and it's going to be played Tuesday. That means the end of your fantasy football. 2 a.m. here. What time zone? I've been missing something, man. I've been missing something because how's 2 a.m.? Where in the world could it be 2 a.m.? Uh, that'd be overseas. Uh, do I think the NFL will get canceled completely for the year? No, NBS Chubbs. I don't think the NFL will get canceled for uh, completely for the year. There's way too much money, even though there's only a, a oh Germany. Hey, all right, that makes more sense. Over Traquan Smith. All right, like I said. Um, and you the man, David, by the way, being a top fan, um, boy, that's a tough one. Ruggs a third. He's been a little bit hobbled, but he has been out there. Uh, I think the biggest play he had last week, I don't know, was, was a pass interference, you know, um, as much as I believe that Ruggs a third is a stud, I might have to go with Traquan, but yeah, uh, other than that, man, yeah, it's hard to go with that rookie wide receiver right now. I think Ruggs is really going to pay off like year two, when once uh, kind of like the way Renfro is now of the Raiders. There, uh, he had he had an okay rookie season. He had an okay rookie season, but I think he's really going to have you know the full grasp of the offense and be able to produce on a regular basis. You know, year two as opposed to year one when he's still getting his feet wet. You know, he's still a little green around the edges or whatever. Some some analogy that makes rookies seem young. That's what that guy is. That's what uh, Ruggs the third is. So I go Traquan, even though you know Michael Thomas is going to be back. You know yeah, how that ball gets divided amongst all those, all that talent. You know, uh, it, it's going to be hard to, it's hard to, hard to guess at. I have to admit, hard to have to admit. But so, yeah. Apparently, they've also moved the Broncos and the Patriot game uh, to Monday as well. So, man, man, at least they're getting the games played, but fantasy is going to be all weird. I mean, fantasy for me, I admit, I'm doing this fantasy show, and it has been one of the, this is the hardest season I have ever had, ever had. Literally, um, I've got four or five starters all injured, so I would go with Renfro over Traquan. Yeah, David, I would. Johnny Fishbone, what's up? What up, Big L? <laughs> uh, Big L, he's in, he's in my league. I think you're in the NFC, though. I'm in the AFC. Yeah, and we're in a big enough league where you have two conferences like the real football. It's like real football happening. Two 16-team conferences. It's dope. Raider, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hardcore challenge. You know, get on the waiting list. Maybe you can play it, too. We'll give special exceptions to, uh, uh, to uh, supporters. If uh, any supporter wants to join the Hardcore Challenge, you know, we do have a waiting list. But if you are a supporter, I've talked to the commission about it. We're going to bump you up, basically. So, you get first pick. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Hey, you the lady, Alyssa. Raiderette, Red Groom. Hello, you fucker, too. All right. At least I sound more Jamaican than Sister Cleo. Oh, come on, man. Now, I'm a, my family's from a little bit more south in the Caribbean than Jamaica, but I don't want to talk about it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I mean, those are like some of the dangerous teams right now. <laughs> Nancy, come on now. Deep plane. All right. Um, right now, it's kind of difficult because a lot of players are coming back from injury. So, like... With uh, the Carolina Panthers, they've had Mike Davis, who's been filling in for Christian McCaffrey. Mike Davis has been okay. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> First year. Uh, I can't say. No, I've not been to Springfield, Missouri. Um, you just put in Graham over Mark Andrews? All right, top fan David Mesa. I am... I don't know, because Mark Andrews is like one of the best tight ends in the league. Not that Jimmy Graham's really good. Jimmy, I, he's kind of lost a step in some stuff. I don't know what's been going on with that guy ever since he left New Orleans and then he went to Seattle and whatnot else. But 
Um, now he's in Chicago. I didn't even know he was in Chicago until week one, I admit. And I was like, oh, well, there's Jimmy Graham. All right. Anyway, but with Nick Foles under center now, full time without any, you know, Mitch Trubisky, Mitch Trubisky, I don't, I don't like him. Um, yeah, they're going to be uh, hitting that tight end good and plenty, good and plenty. Yeah. So we got the game about to kick off here in like five minutes. So if you got questions, hit me up right now. If you're just joining us, you're watching Prime's Fantasy Island. That's where I talk about nothing but fantasy football, and I pretend I'm on an island, even though I'm in my studio at my house in my garage. But anyway, um, don't forget, follow us on Instagram and YouTube and Twitter and everywhere else you might be able to, anything social media, just go straight to the website. I know Lamar runs too much, but oh, Lamar runs a lot, but check this out. Lamar, little insider information, Lamar Jackson has a bum knee right now. I think he's still going to play, even though he's listed as questionable. But Lamar Jackson, is if he does play, he's not going to run as much. He's not going to run as much. They're going to let that man throw the ball. So, he'll probably still get, I don't know, 30, 40 yards rushing. He might even get a rushing touchdown, but I guarantee. You know, in fact, that might just be my lock right now. Because, let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me look just a second here. And Baltimore's playing Cincinnati. So, first of all, you got a division rivalry uh, going on there. And I think Lamar Jackson, they, they kind of had a letdown. <laughs> all right, you the man, Walter. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, but Lamar Jackson, he's got, he's got, he's got a hurt knee. He is listed as questionable. He is going to play. I'm assuming, logic says, he's not going to run as much if this is the week to start. Um, man, I might even, oh, Willie uh, uh, Snide, Sneed, Sneed. Uh, I might even start him. He's like the second or third wide receiver for Baltimore right now. But really, it's going to be about Hollywood Brown and, uh, and, and Mark Andrews. So, Marcus. Do you think Marcus will get in against KC this week? Oh, that's this week. That's this week. I thought it was like in two weeks, but no, this is this week. Oh, you know where I'm not going to be? I will not be at the Raider game this weekend. Um, man. Andrews or Graham? I'm still, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Andrews over Graham, but I would still go Graham over Cook. So... Yeah. Do I think Mark? No, Marcus ain't getting in this week against the Chiefs. Do I think the Raiders are going to, you know, Super Bowl champion, arguably one of the best teams in the league. I don't think the Raiders are there yet. So I can't say the Raiders are going to beat the Chiefs. But if they are going to beat the Chiefs NBS Chubbs, great question. Here's what the Raiders will have to do. First of all, they have to control the ball, right? That means uh, we got a man, Josh Jacobs, a big, healthy dose of that dude, like, all day. And back up and a third backup running back all have to just, we got a three yards in a cloud of dust, right? The last thing you want to do is give the Chiefs offense any more time than they already get, you know? When they have lost... It's because they've kept the offense off the field and played just solid defense. So, like, the Raiders got to get real strong on the back end, make sure nothing deep, you know, which is better, easier said than done, you know, with Tariq Hill and and, uh, and company there. But, yeah, basically they got to run the ball and play good D. If you can do that, if you can do that effectively, then yeah, you can beat the Chiefs, and the Raiders can do that. So, damn it, I'll play Graham next week. Well, right on, right on. So, yeah, but Mark Andrews, I'm telling you, Lamar Jackson, her knee, throwing the ball. Oh man, so we are right about kickoff. We are right about kickoff here. So uh, I tell you what, I know I wasn't here last week. It's okay. We're gonna keep the fantasy island going for the rest of the season. Have no worries. Have no fear. Yo, yeah, Michael. Absolutely, you'll have a chance if we do that. 
Um, that's that's without a doubt. I mean, that's that was you know, and I didn't even make that up, man. That's just what the Patriots did last year, or you know, what two years ago? Yeah, not last year, two years ago. Wow, time just goes on by. But anyway. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in to this quick Primes Fantasy Island. I will be back next Thursday. Hey, and I tell you what, if we can get the production right, I'll be back on Wednesday as well with the uh, Ghost of the Post with Prime and the Commish. Until then, you know, get those. I hope everyone gets a, gets a win this weekend. I hope your team blows up. I'm talking about 40 points out of your running back and you never saw it coming. That's what I'm talking about. I hope that happens for everybody. Nothing but fantasy football victories this week. And we're coming into week six uh, with W's. With W's under our belt. So, keep in mind, if you have any questions, you can join me uh, next week as well. We'll keep it going. We'll keep it going. Thank you, Michael Conti. I appreciate the, uh, uh, the compliment there. Don't forget, all the games are going to be played this week. Yeah. Uh, David, yeah, please let me know. I tell you what, you know, I I may not bat a thousand. I, I'm not, I don't see the future. I don't have a crystal ball. But at the same time, I got a winning record. So, you know, it is what it is. I want to say thank you guys for once again joining in to Prime's Fantasy Island. And... Don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Go straight to the uh, straight to the website at RaiderReaction.com. This is Prime. I love football. And I'm out. Two, three, four.